So this is just a demo of how to scrape marks the no cross hatch pattern at least in my way is produced. Um, just trying to blue it up so that it shows a little bit better. Okay. So what I'll do to produce marks that way is I can pull towards me while going forward. So that way and then pull marks. And then I can also pull but go the other way, but I find that harder because some way I have to I think I'll t I tilt the scraper. So instead of doing that, I will push I'm going the same way, so I go that way both um, times. First, pu like pull towards me while going that way, and then push from me while going that way. That should produce marks both ways. Same time, I I try to hold the scraper directly like that, not like that or like that. So it tries slow now, so you see. That's just four marks, but just to that's just to show. And then the other way. Not so clear, but that should produce a, a cross hatch pattern. Can try again on the upward slope, and that's that's the inconvenience of this. Uh, inner, let's say, an internal um, cylinder like this. It's much more convenient being down there. So uh, instead of up here, it's much harder to hold the angle. So therefore, try to as much as possible to rotate the workpiece. I always work on the lower part here. Because while going up here, it's much harder. And also, if I should go down again, I got it there, but see this way. Oh, not so easy. And the marks, at least, should be a certain pattern. First rub on the second uh, spindle and headstock. We can see how not scraped here. There's plenty of coverage in fact, but it's um, it's not spotted in the same way. It's a blotch over there. And, um, it's quite une uneven. Continue scraping the, the blue spots. It's hard to see them there. Maybe that's better. So, um, And then it's just a matter of scraping. Scraping the high spots. And I try to, since there is one, one oil um, supply here with one channel, which does not go all the way to the, to the rim here. I try to make this as a high point all around. And I also try to make pads like this in one, two, three, four um, sections, so to uh, make it a little bit like a like a, a square inside, and afterwards a relief where the oil is uh, is supplied, and in between these pads. Most of all, now I just scrape the high points. 
to get them evenly spaced. I use the same principle as with scraping a normal bearing, namely scrape the high points and then try to make a checkerboard pattern. And as Nick said, I try to move the scraper to dig like that and I also place it onto my shoulder. I think that's technique where I get more control. So I'll bring it closer in and then I also, as you see, I rotate this around. Not sure if you see, but I place the scraper and let it rest onto the rear side there. And then I dig like that. So, I think it's improving to the point where there's only a, an area there and down there that needs to be taken care of. The rest is bearing quite okay now. So, a trick from Nick, lighting up with a piece of aluminium foil. And how I blew up, either like this, or like this, or giving it my, let's say, a fine touch to feel for grit. It's the same as long as it's evenly coated with the least amount of blue, at least as far as I can tell or have learned. It's a matter of using just enough force and rotation. To avoid smearing. This was the sixth bearing and I almost did nothing to it. Uh, it was just made some pattern. Hundred percent contact almost. So you want it a little bit scattered. So you have pockets. So now we work the bearing a little bit more. And um, there is now evidence of Hitting, beginning to hit uniform, uniformly around. Um, okay.
there we are all seven headstocks um, with some minor battle scars and I see some defects in painting that was expected I mean uh, since wrestling with them like this I have just expected to have some some more painting to do but I'm happily now through the um, the scraping of the headstock bearings so ready for further assembly <laughs> 